What's up everybody? Uh, got some parts in the mail finally to help convert my nephew's truck. Check it out. Uh, that's his truck. That's my son Jaden. He's gonna be helping. Say hello Jaden. Hello. Alright, and so right here's the truck. We're gonna be trying to uh mod mod the truck to make it remote control we'll see how that works uh got some parts here uh i'll probably give it a good hour today we'll see what happens got some more parts in the mail uh right here it's my daughter mine uh these was the connectors i ordered a while back and it took forever for them to come so i was kind of waiting on those so i'm doing some wiring uh, and I got some shrink wrap and you can buy that shrink wrap at Home Depot which is a pretty cool one. So I was been soldering I'm basically putting a uh, connector in line with the motor and I already got a connector for the power so I just tap in the power source and then disconnect this and hook it to the actual controlling board which I got here so if they ever wanted to change this back to the way exactly how it was I could just plug this up and it'd be good to go but if they want to use the remote, they can take that out and switch it out and, it'd be, and then they can use the remote. Okay, so now I got the turning mechanism in. Once again, this is a motor assembly from a different power wheels or whatever it was. And here you see I took it, I mounted it there and added this cotter pin and drilled a hole in the actual shaft to turn. So when this turns, it turns the shaft as if you were driving. So that's where I am right now. Hopefully I'll be wiring this up and testing it out soon. I've tested it just with the battery voltage and it turns the wheel no problem. So now it's time to hook up the controls. The control board that I modified, uh, and this plug will go to the motor to go backward and forward. And this plug will go to the, the motor to turn left and right. And this would be the input for the power. And, and then this is, is linked to this originally before I modified it and uh, based off the commands from the keychain then it would it would tell this one what to do and this is kind of like the brains of the operation basically what I did was map out the buttons what they do and I'm translating them to just a remote control I'm basically using this whole thing just for the knobs so I uh, disconnected all the other circuitry so the only thing that's actually doing anything is, is the actual knob see left right and then up and down well, I gotta reconnect that one so let's give me a status on the remote control car the uh, the, the keychains are good but I kind of want uh, my brother-in-law to have more control over his nephew so this makes it easier just a regular standard remote control plus it came with two of them so the original one is still in the key fob the final modified remote because it wasn't stopping so I modified it like this and See if that fixed it or not. 